Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm showing how to install Windows 11 in VMware Workstation. So right now, I am opening, I have opened a VMware Workstation uh, on my computer and I'm running and uh, running Windows uh, VMware Workstation 15 Pro. Um, I don't think this is the latest one, but it's fine. You can run it on 15 as well. So first of all, you'll have to create um, template for virtual machine so what you can do here just click on the file option and click on new virtual machine and it will open a window like this so here we have couple of options typical and custom go with the custom option so that we can choose all the options that we are required we can customize the um, virtual machine options click on next and here we when you click you will see a couple of options like windows workstation 15 es 6 14 and all this stuff uh, we can go with 15.x but if you want to install it on ESXi um, 6.7 or uh, later you can go with this option now i'm going to choose 15 workstation 15 and click on next now uh, we have option like install from installer disk install disk image file so as you know it's showing no drive available because i don't have um, optical d uh, drive on my uh, computer physical computer that's why it's showing uh, it's grayed out that's fine and there is another option install a disk image file iso so that we can choose the file directly so what i'm going to do i'm not going to choose install disk image file right now i'll just go with the uh, third option i will install the operating system later even if i have the um, iso file readily available in order to avoid the user and all these um, options so to go, check the third option and click on next and here we have uh, option like windows linux so go with the windows option and here we don't have windows 11 of course because it's not um, updated to the latest vmware uh, state, uh, vmware option so that's fine you can go with the windows 10 but in case if you see windows 11 in your version go with the windows 11 option and click on next um, here you can name it windows 11 like for example windows 11 um, test and you can choose the location where you want to um, save the vmware workstation and files i already have one location in my documents i'll go with that um, location so i'll go with this option but in case if you want to save it in a different location even if um, it's an external hard disk or something you can go with that option and click on next uh, here we have two types of um, option for booting bios and uefi i'm gonna go with the second option as this is the latest one um, click on next number of processors you can increase it like for example two and number of course purpose you can make it two so that total number of cores will be four but you need to make sure that you have enough um, cores available on your physical computer otherwise your system will get hanged um, that's it I'm gonna go with the number of process one and two cores per processor so I will have a total two cores for my uh, Windows machine click on next and here we have in default 2 GB selected um, I prefer to go with at least 4 GB because um, if you choose 2 GB the installation it will take a long time and as well as the system will be very slow maybe it, um, it will take a lot of time to boot and everything but if you have 16 GB on your computer or more than 16 GB you can increase 8 GB so that it will be more better I'm gonna go with 4 GB because I have only 8 GB in my computer and click on next here we have a different network type use bridge networking if you want to connect it to the uh, your uh, main uh, router internet or something or if you have a physical connection you can go with that option if you want to use um, physical computers internet access using a network translation you can go with this option normally i'll go with this option so you don't need to change but in case if you want to bridge you bridge the machine to your um, ethernet connection you can go with this option click on next and uh, i'll go with the recommended option for the input output controller type um, as LSI logic SAS that's fine uh, click on next again we have uh, virtual disk type IDE uh, ISKC and SATA is there NVMe is there so we'll go with the recommended option because this will be the best um, 
option available for a virtual machine click on next and here we have create a new virtual disk so we can go with this option create new virtual disk but in case if you have an existing virtual disk which is already added you can go with that option um, if you have a physical disk like you have connected an external um, disk additional disk you can go with this option um, I'll go with the new virtual disk and I'm gonna choose only 30 GB because I don't have enough space on my computer um, you don't need to allocate the disk space now because it will take a lot of time to get installation and also it will consume the a complete storage of 30 GB from your computer so go with the 30 GB option and store virtual disk as a single file um, you can also split the virtual disk so um, the problem is when you choose split virtual disk the problem is it will um, it will be easy to move but the uh, the performance will be very very poor when uh, the disk is growing so normally I will go with this single file option and click on next and here we have Windows 11 test.vmdk the name of the vmdk file disk file so if you want you can rename it like Windows 11 testing or something whatever you want you can give that one for you to identify um, when you have multiple VMs of course there will be a confusion so it's fine to give a different name if you want otherwise you can go with the default option click on next and now we have to customize the hardware this is the finest final step we need to customize hardware because we haven't added the ISO file yet so when you click on customize hardware you will have a window like this so here you can um, choose the ISO image file which we have skipped in the first step and now we have to um, go with the um, windows 11 we need to find the iso file and click on open that's it make sure this is powered on connected power on and here we have printer and all this stuff if you don't want printer uh, normally we don't go with this option we just remove it so printer is removed and sound card usb controller first of the thing you can leave as it is and close it and finally finish so once you finish it will create um vm template already the only thing you need to do is power on the virtual machine so that it will um, take you to the booting option like you can see in, when you are installing it in a physical computer uh, it will ask for press any key for starting the booting and all this stuff um, i'm not explaining the remaining parts the windows installation because i already explained in one of my another video how to install that will be the steps will be same so if you have doubt you can refer that video so um, I'm just stopping the installation you can refer this uh, the, refer the video in the description for installing it on a physical computer or um, VM VM from um, this steps onwards so thank you for watching guys subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye